former White House Chief of Staff under George W. Bush, Andy Card, is with us right now. This is the day when the death of Obamacare begins, right? It actually began when it was being implemented, but now we're recognizing it. <laughs> well, look, you've got 19 million people who received some kind of coverage under Obamacare. You can't just withdraw that and leave them on their own. It so not, what, what it's not realistic do? just to repeal it. You've got to replace it. And the replace has to be done in such a way that there's a transition. Because it's most important that uh, we address the affordability problem, the bureaucracy problem, and that can be done. And I think that's what a replacement plan should focus on, is how do you make it cheaper, more available to people at a better rate where they can keep their doctor and have some of the promises that were made, and make sure those people that received coverage because they were promised that they could, right. pre-existing conditions and all these things, continue to have a path for those people to be addressed, young people staying on their parents' plans for a while. There are ways to fix it. Repealing it is important. Replacing it is even more important. Well, look, Andy, this is job one for Congress, and they're getting down to work immediately. But from what you said, this isn't going to be a quick process. I mean, this is going to go on for a long time to get these things repealed and replaced. What I'm saying is, isn't that going to crowd out other pressing items of government, like tax cuts? Well, I think the, the important plan is to have a plan for replacement. So a roadmap to replacement that Congress can pass so that there is a known transition period under which the, you move from Obamacare to an affordable care that provides real care rather than as a bureaucracy. And we can do that. I'm confident we can do that. Congress has been working on this for a long time. They just haven't had a chance to present it in such a way that people took it seriously. Well, as of now January the 27th, they've got to come up with the plan to repeal. How do you repeal it? After that, it becomes what you replace it with. But January the 27th, that's going to But you need to happen. have a transition. Just yep. the scary word of repeal should not cause people to feel that they have lost their insurance. They are tra transitioning to other plans that are better. It's going to unfold today. Left-hand side of your screen, Capitol Hill. You'll watch it all right here. Andy, would you